we go. There's the Phantom 4. Cool, so here's the main body of the drone with the propellers and this nice bag so you can kind of carry them around. It looks like there's uh, a whole extra set. Instructions, which I'll definitely need. The transmitter. And then I, I guess I can flip it up and then you know I can put my iPad or my phone or Android or whatever I am using to as a screen. And then here's the battery. Knock over the box and this is the battery. I see those bars are showing the battery level. Great, so it comes all charged up. Um, this is really cool, like I like that this is this aluminum, probably removable so that, that tightens and loosens the, the mount. You could add another mount on if you wanted. I'm sure some people will be 3D printing some of those. So there you have it. Um, you, you know, you'll be seeing this drone, uh, something involving it at some point soon. So uh, keep an eye out and um, you know, we're really excited for what uh, DJI is doing with the Phantom 4. We're excited to see what the community is going to use it for at some point. I know that there's going to be some models coming up on Shapeways, so um, yeah, you'll hear more from us soon. They don't listen. All right, there's that. Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. So that's a blue laser type light. Blue laser. Okay. So it has a red X. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. That's the optimal distance. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the whole game is to maintain parallel to the surfaces you want to have the most accuracy. Yeah. And scan as fast as possible because this thing can record. 200,000 points per second if you let it right. wow. We're scanning directly to a point cloud and we're not scanning to a mesh. It allows so for higher performance. Using all of those points there and then you worry about the mesh afterwards, fix it up. Right. Or whatever. So it's yeah. a labor intensive process. Yep. Yeah. So as long as it doesn't get mad at you, sit the way off. Okay. Cool. So the laser is finding the distance and then the arm is sort of a helping you keep it in place and it's also determining where that is based on the arm. The arm, it knows all the exact measurements. Okay. This thing is extremely accurate so you, I could in theory scan my fingerprint with this. Um, a lot of that comes from the arm versus like the scanners where you have to place reference dots and yeah. everything else.